And the job? Cleared the whole thing up before I left. Got the old boy to embezzle a hundred grand and then lost it for him at a racetrack. Then his wife left him and he took to drink. I told him I was through and he jumped out the window. Twenty second story. Oh, that's high enough. That's fine. Would you like me to try the Empire State on this next one? No, no, Lola. This is just a straight seduction job. The new boy I got hold of. Lola, I've gone and done a foolish thing. I let this real estate genius talk me into an escape clause. I've never heard of it. And you never will again. It just slipped by me. I'm overworked. I know, poor dear. Election is coming up. <laughs> oh, I get it. So when I make this Joe Hardy deal, I... Joe Hardy? Well, that's his name. Gee, they say he's great. Clarence just raved about him. Who's Clarence? You know. <laughs> Look, Lola, here's the title. This is a mass torture deal like the Thirty Years' War. I have thousands of Washington fans drooling under the illusion that the Senators are going to win a pennant. Gee, Chief, that sounds great. We'll be suicides, heart attacks, and apoplexy. Just like the good old days. <laughs> well, the key to it all is this fellow. Well, he probably wants to go back to his wife. Don't worry, Chief. You are pretty good at making men forget about their wives. This is a routine case. I'll give them the standard vampire treatment. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's not a home record on my staff better than you, Lola. But this boy's stubborn. Don't worry, Chief. You know I got what it takes. <laughs> Don't make me brag. I took the Z out of the key. No. 